Let's hear some from, from some of you about your key resources and key activities. The key resources is basically technically certified engineers because okay. that's where all our business starts. You, you understand technology, you are certified with various partners. Mm -hmm. so that's one of the key resources. Second is of course direct sales people because you may have the resources but if you don't know how to sell that, they will be just staying in the office. Yeah. And the third most important is your suppliers and partners. Because we, we have various suppliers like McAfee or Symantec. Yeah, so that's in the partners part, the, not in the resources. And we're going to come to that in the next session. Resources session. basically is technically certified engineers and direct sales. People. And direct sales. Okay, these good. Important. So these are really the essential elements to run your business, right? That's correct. That's correct. And I would advise you to even go a step further and identify who are the individuals in the certified engineers and in the direct sales team, which you believe are really these are the key guys in your organization. Yeah, I'll do that. As individuals. Yeah. Because then you need to take care of them a little bit more, right? You need to find ways in which they're motivated, they're involved uh, you know, in your business more and more because they are key for your whole business. That's true. That's true. So good, good input. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other input? Gentlemen here? Ah, so, okay. After this. Uh, I'll be quick. Um, yes? My key resources are the fabric, the material I use. Um, and media. And, me and the media. Because without the media, I can't spread the word, and without my fat material, I can't actually do my design, and I'm the only sole person in my company, so it's me, my material, and media. So like, what specifically in the media? Can you just explain? As in uh, media, media partners, or using the media to be able to put my uh, business out there. And spread okay, the so that would fall again more on the partnership side. Uh, kind right. of it's in between, right? It would be partnership, it would be the channels, and it would be my key resource, because without that, I can't run. Um, yeah. I probably, I, or maybe I can by just talking word of mouth, but then I really, if I need to be out there and, and, and known by everyone, then I yeah. need to use the media. But just to, just to show you what's the difference between that. So if you're talking about media from a, you know, uh, media companies or the press, etc., they would fall under the partnerships. Or would it be channels? You could use them as well, possibly in some cases, if they are selling or they're, you know, they're getting uh, the word out or you're selling through them as in the channels. Okay. But I just wanted to clarify that when it comes to key resources, what do you need internally to manage those relationships? Me? Possibly. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Just... But then you need to think about, do I need someone else? Is this such an important element for me that I need to get someone on board or no? So that's the purpose of identifying the key resources. What are really the most essential aspects I need to have in my company to be able to have these partnerships, to be able to execute, to be able to do this work with these channels? Sure, I think that will be coming in one stage after the other because this is the startup. Definitely, it's just would start with me, and then for sure, I would need people to manage uh, the entire business. People to so who do you decide to get? You know, who you're going to hire first it goes back to key resources. You see what, where this is heading? Okay. So once you really prioritize, what is it that I need and I can't do without in my business, then I can decide who to hire. So this, I, you're saying that I need to put down the names even if it's a future in, investment in them? Because this is what I need for future. But for now, right now, when I started my business, this is what I need for now. Yeah. So the business model, what we're working on, is definitely a, a look into the future. Where do you want to go? And... Based on where you're planning to go, you need to you know, set up what are the elements you need to have to achieve where you're, you know, to, to meet your goal and you know, take you on your path. So definitely, you need to specify what is it that I, is really essential for me as resources, whether it's, it might also be something you need to acquire, some kind of asset that you need to acquire. And this will help you prioritize your expenditure. It'll help you prioritize your hiring. It'll help you prioritize where to put your time. One of the biggest you know, expenses you have is your time. So where do you focus your time? And that's what becomes you know, really important. Can we have the gentleman's input here? Yeah, I just wanted to add to the, uh, the discussion on the revenue streams in the yeah. previous section. Yeah. During the break, um, it, the, uh, the idea came to me. Uh, the, a lot of the video, video games and, and uh, uh, web platforms employ this thing where you join for free and you buy these virtual items um, once you've joined. So you can purchase, for example, real estate uh, pieces, uh, you, know, you can buy certificates, gifts for your friends and so forth, and Facebook Absolutely. employs this, and uh, video games. 
And I was told by a reliable authority that I, this would get me a bag. Thank you. Uh -huh. Just in terms of resource, I mean, we're a new business set up, so as far as we're concerned, we are, as three managing partners, we're, we're the biggest resource yeah. uh, in the context that we're currently in. Yeah. Both so from, you know, over 53 years, cumulative experience, our networks, our IP, it's, it's invaluable. You, could, you couldn't put a price on it. Very good. Excellent. So that's, again, you will identify that these three key partners provide three key elements of your business to implement, Correct. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that is why, you know, you've complemented it. So, great. So that's a good way to see it. So, so we've got the microphone at the back, please. Um, Amanda Gordon from Adam Consulting. One of the things that everybody's skirted around and most um, people have said the word relationship we are consulting and we, our business is built on building relationships and networking and I think no matter what your business is, you have to remember to maintain your relationships both with your suppliers, your clients, everybody around you because relationships is what keeps your business running. Yep, so we've got actually another workshop which we usually hold called the Next Generation Business Workshop. I don't know if any one of you has attended that where we talk about creating 10 key partnerships in your business. So building on those relationships you're talking about. We believe that you know, any business should have 10 key partnerships. Maybe I'll just, this is the teaser for another workshop. Um, and it's so important that you maintain these relationships and these partnerships because that's how you can expand your, you know, your area. But it goes back to the point of where do we invest our time and effort? Where do we prioritize? Who should we spend our time with? Uh, and that is the biggest challenge today, uh, especially in today's fast-paced world. 